Hello and welcome everybody. I'm Lindy Hewson, publisher of Packaging News, Australia's media hub for the packaging industry. I'm here today at the headquarters of Australian Packaging Covenant Organisation and I'm talking to Meredith Epp. Meredith is the Industry Partnership Manager for APCO and today we are giving you some highlights of the 2020 APCO Awards. Meredith, tell us all about them. Great, thanks Lindy and thanks for being here today. So today we're talking a little bit about our Packaging Future Awards and a couple of the highlights, like you said, of the awards categories. So the Our Packaging Future Awards, that's a new category um, or a new dimension to the APCO Awards this year. Tell us how that came about. Absolutely. So we really wanted to recognize um, some of the fantastic initiatives that our members have been doing that kind of fall outside of the reporting realm that we do every year. Um, so it was our first time doing self-nomination awards where anyone could put in for um, an initiative that they did since 2018 up until now. Our first category is the Improved Collection and Recycling System. Award and this um, award was hotly contested and there are three finalists, Biopack Compost Services, Woolworths and TerraCycle Australasia. Who is the winner? Cindy, so the winner is TerraCycle Australia for TerraCycle's Colgate Community Garden Challenge. This was run as part of the Colgate Oral Care Recycling Program, which is an innovative project that works with TerraCycle um, Partner and the Colgate Community Garden Challenge, recycling hard to recover oral care waste. Uh, 2019 saw students from more than 1,200 schools ship more than 230,000 pieces of oral care waste to TerraCycle for recycling. Our next category is for end market leadership. What does that entail, Meredith? Right, so this category is all about collaboration, innovation and developing new end markets for recycled materials. So the finalists in this category are Coca-Cola Amatil, The Iconic and Nature's Organics. Absolutely, so the winner for this category is Coca-Cola Amatil. So for their 100% recycled PET packaging, Coca-Cola Amatil is the first company to offer 100% recycled PET packaging for both its carbonated and still beverages in Australia. Having achieved this commitment to make seven out of 10 beverage bottles in its Australian portfolio from 100% recycled plastic by 2020. That means over 50% of the company's plastic portfolio is now made from recycled PET. Our next award is sustainability education and it's the consumer and industry education that this is all about. Now I understand, Meredith, that you had an overwhelming response to addressing the issue of education from the industry. Can you tell us what consequence this had? Absolutely, Lindy. So originally we put this as just one overall education category, but like you said, such an overwhelming response that we had to this. There's so much great work um, happening, not only on kind of the consumer side as your traditional citizens, but also very much on the industry education. So educating suppliers, working internally, how critically important that is to kind of moving towards the 2025 targets. So we decided to split it out into two categories. All right, well then let's start with the consumer education category in which the finalists are Biopack and Unilever. Who's the winner? So the winner for the Consumer Education Award is Unilever ANZ, and that's for the empowering Aussies to buy better with post-consumer recycled plastic. In 2019, Unilever ANZ introduced recycled HDPE plastic into its bottles. Uh, this was supported by state government funding and celebrated by industry, media alike. This outstanding step towards packaging circularity has been enhanced by the Unilever Buy Better Recycled Plastics communications campaign. Through raising awareness of the Unilever ANZ's shift towards recycled plastic, the campaign worked to educate consumers on the difference between virgin and recycled material and the importance of recycled content in driving a circular economy for plastic packaging. Congratulations to Unilever. We all know the importance of having informed consumers, not just aware consumers. Now the Industry Education Award. The finalists there are Aldi, Coles Supermarket and Signet. Who is the winner? Right, so the winner for the Industry Education Award is Aldi. So Aldi stores have launched the 25 by 25 plastics and packaging commitments and a commu communications campaign. Aldi stores developed a campaign to engage, educate, and inspire employees, suppliers, business partners, and customers on the importance of plastic reduction. 
The 25 by 25 campaign was launched with a sustainable packaging event for suppliers and business partners, followed by on-pack messaging, web, social media, catalog, in-store marketing, as well as on the company's first ever plas public plastics packaging progress report. Congratulations to Aldi, that's excellent industry leadership. Now we've had a lot of industry winners and we're going to turn our attention now to some individuals who have been working really hard in the sustainability field. So our next award is the Sustainability Champion Award. What does it take to be a sustainability champion, Meredith? Yeah, great question, Lindy. And I love this award. It's one that's really close to my heart because I think we get to know so many incredible individuals that have really gone above and beyond and that have really made a very tangible difference in terms of the sustainable packaging community and spreading that out to their wider networks. So we've got five finalists in this category and I'm going to read them out to you now. The first is Monica Doyle from Brown's Dairy. Second is Lachlan Feggins from CHEP. Third is Ian Jacoby from Modern Dental Pacific. Fourth is Matthew Mills and he's from Garden City Plastics. And fifth is Caitlin Richards from Coles. So very excited, drum roll, who's the winner? So the winner is Matthew Mills from Garden City Plastics. Matthew has been determined to build a commitment to a new industry-wide approach at all levels of the horticultural sector, to enable and further improve recycling rates for plant packaging produced and placed on the Australian market. Matthew's work and his collaboration within the industry speaks greatly to APCO's collective impact model, and we congratulate him on this award. There were three Outstanding Achievement Awards also given this year. For Outstanding Achievement in Industry Leadership, Coca-Cola Amatil proved victorious. For Outstanding Achievement in Sustainable Packaging Outcomes, CHEP Australia was the winner. And for Outstanding Achievement in Sustainable Packaging Operations, Kellogg Australia was the winner. And now we come to APCO's most prestigious award, the Sustainable Packaging Excellence Award. Meredith, who qualifies for this award? So to qualify for this award, the organization needs to be a winner of one of the industry sector awards that we announced earlier. So the winner for this award is Lyndell Basil. So Lyndell Basil are the Packaging Excellence Winner Award. They are a leader within business to business raw packaging space. Uh, Lyndell Basil Australia prioritize reusable containers and the recycling of operational materials whenever possible. As a packaging materials supplier, Committed to the circular economy, Lyndell Basel Australia has partnered with RedCycle, Chairs Plastic Stewardship Australia, and has a, played a key role in founding global cross-value chain alliance to end plastic waste. This reporting period, Lyndell Basel Australia delivered more than 70% of products in reusable bulk packaging formats and diverted 80% of total on-site waste from landfill. We've seen some fantastic initiatives at this year's 2020 APCO Awards. Congratulations to all the winners and of course all the finalists. That brings to a close PKN's coverage of the 2020 APCO Awards. We've seen some excellent initiatives, we've seen some fantastic industry and individual leadership. Our packaging future certainly looks bright. Thank you for joining us, Meredith. Great, and thanks for having us, Lindy. And thank you to all of the APCO finalists tonight, to the winners, and especially to all of our APCO members out there that are doing the hard work working towards creating a better packaging future.